Five seconds. for stage separation. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Booster engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. This is a big deal, the two parts of the rocket separating. One will fly back, and, but not land. Katie, does this all look normal to you as it's happening right now? As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation. It looks like stage separation might be a little, let's see. Super heavy a little bit late. Let's listen to them. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, there... <laughs> All right, Katie. And there, as you saw, as we yes. promised, an Tell us what just you know, happened there. Started... Everybody's um... clapping. Was that separation or? So there was, there's two big pieces of this rocket. There's the Starship itself and there's the booster underneath. The booster had those 33 engines at about two minutes, 50 seconds. They were supposed to separate. Where that booster is done, it goes back to Earth and, uh, and then the Starship's engines light and go. But that separation between those two really big pieces did not happen. And so then it is tumbling as both pieces together, tumbling around, and uh, clearly with the engines um, led to explosions on the vehicle. You know, some, I mean, I'm sure everyone is really is, is disappointed in some ways, but this is very much a test. And this Starship project takes very audacious steps for good reason, because it's the ship that will take us to the moon. Um, the biggest goal for them was to make sure they cleared the launch pad so the launch pad, pad could be used again quickly, because they have, they have... But now this was a development test. A because so they even, with the explosion, the even with the explosions we just saw, you're saying this is a victory for them because they cleared the launch pad and this is going incrementally in steps. Absolutely. You know, everything from the fueling to being ready to go, sensor systems, you know, all those kinds of things, all those things went well. Engines, you know, they, um, leaving the launch pad. But what's really important about leaving the launch pad, it sounds silly, but if you damage that launch pad, you can't try again very quickly. And that's this is their their modus operandi is to fail well not to fail but to basically fail often take big steps so that you can actually take those steps and see if you can leap ahead as opposed to step you know tiny step by tiny step and so they took a lot of big steps with this launch the, um, they have vehicles ready to go starships and boosters ready to put on that pad again. I, I can't say how soon, but that's what's different about the way SpaceX thinks is, you know, let's, let's ha take some big steps. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.